Hey everyone, if this is your first time to the channel, please do so. Make sure you're subscribed, hit that bell for notifications, so that way you don't miss another video like this one coming your way. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. It does help our channel grow. Please feel free to leave a comment. We do get back to all of our comments. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Mo's Tour Room Come from Myram Tours. And today, here we go, we got some neck action for you folks. Here is Megan, the ultimate action figure. This beauty is for ages 17 and up and is available now. It is hitting Target stores all the way across the country. People are finding them. It's just a matter of timing, folks. But just hold your patience because they are out there. And retail price on this beauty is $34.99. Um, US dollars okay that's retail all right so here we go right here we got Megan the long-awaited ultimate figure um, from NECA and NECA and Real Toys put it all together to bring us this we will turn it to the side look how amazing that looks folks this this is a really really beautiful piece very nice uh, when I got to my target they had about four of them so Hopefully yours will do the same and you would be able to pick yourself up one. This beauty, uh, here is Megan, Model 3, Generative Android. It includes interchangeable heads, battle damage head, robot head with swappable faceplate, screwdriver, nail gun, hammer, paper cutter blade, uh, bloody paper cutter, cutter blade, and interchangeable hands. There you go. And there is the inside, there is the other side right there. Megan, this little beauty is... Man, she is a fire plug. Let me tell you, if you have never, ever seen this movie, please do so. This is the time of the season to do it. There you got Megan kicking back behind her window of pain, locked in her plastic prison, as she has finally made it here to Moe's Toy Room. And there you go. You guys can get her to possibly look like that with the right diorama. It looks like she brings a diorama very similar to that with her. So, folks, this is a win-win situation right here. So let's get down to business and unbox her. All right, folks, first off, tail of the tape. Um, pardon me, uh, I don't have any NECA stands right now, but I have them all put away. But like I said, we still have an unpack from when we moved. Uh, she's checking in at five and a half inches tall and looks like she is about 14 centimeters. Okay, so this is a very beautiful piece and she tends to bring a lot of stuff. Okay, so she tends to bring an alternate head. This is a more kind of puzzled, like the first like opening scene when they bring her home, this would be the one. So the hair is soft molded plastic, you can see right there. Uh, looks like she might be on a post or just a small ball joint up in there. So pardon my fingers, folks, but you can see that. Okay, this figure looks good, like real good. And then this is a more bizarre, beat up kind of uh, Terminator type of thing um, when she starts to get all mangled up. Kind of resembling like a more mangled up Chucky. Uh, just, it's just one of those things, first thing that comes to mind, folks. Sorry um, to compare the two, but... Uh, that's how I feel about that. But yeah, her hair is still soft molded plastic. You can see the way that they did that. This figure has a lot of detail. And when you see it in person, you're just blown out of your socks. There is another figure that is getting ready to be released. That is the 8 inch version, uh, version of this, pardon me, which will have real clothing on it. Um, I don't know about her stockings, if they'll be real or her shirt. But, uh, well, the shirt sleeves. But... Uh, the moment I grab a hold of that thing, I will review it on this channel. Okay, so one thing that's super cool is she brings another alternate head. Okay, so with this alternate head, there comes some like alternate face plates that would go to it. There's one. You kind of see that. Okay. Hopefully I captured that. And here is the other. Let's see here. Pardon me with my fingers. There is the other right there. So, yeah, it looks real good. Um, yeah, this figure is dynamite. I'm loving it already. Um, no doubt about it. She brings some alternate hands. Let's turn our Megan over here a little to the side. Pardon me, folks. I got the fan on because here in 
uh, California, where I live, um, in Tracy, California, it is a hundred and five degrees today on on you know in, in October. So there you go. She brings two like kind of closed, uh, pardon my fingers, hands, but one seems to be darker than the other. So I don't know if I can really get that on camera. And they are on a hinge. You can see that. So yeah, they are hinged up. But the hinge, it's funny because the hinge looks like it's going the opposite way. So, on these guys. So, be careful with these. Um, so, just one of those. And then also, she brings these two hands. So, there you go. She, she brings a lot of alternate hands due to the fact that she brings a lot of weapons. So, and also she has, I believe, two right hands again. So this one tends, yeah, they tend to be almost the same in color. Okay, and that hinge work. Yeah, that one works real good. So you just got to mess with them on there, folks. Uh, don't be puzzled or alarmed. Uh, these figures are usually pretty durable, but don't hold me to that. You know, you want to protect your uh, your little investment, your collectible, because these things, once they get broke, sometimes you can't find them anymore. She brings a screwdriver. So there you go. Looks real good. And this is a very, like, pokey material. It's not real hard material. It's not a hard one. It's very bendy, but very pokey. And please keep out of reach of children and your pets. Okay, this will not be good. All right. Also, she tends to bring a nail gun. This looks very, very real. Um, yeah, this, this looks super cool. Very hard plastic. They did a fantastic job on this. I like the way it is. Um, the way that they got it. For you can have her like she's in the movie. So this thing tends to bring a lot. Uh, the 8 inch version doesn't seem to bring as much stuff. But we're going to see uh, it's how it turns out. So a hammer. So I'm sure Nick probably had a bunch of these lying around. But we would have to really watch the movie again to see if this hammer is designed like the one that she used in the movie uh, very hard material uh, yeah like I said keep out of reach of children and your pets alright now here we go we got two of the paper cutter blades these are very bendy you can see there okay and she has a clean version and then she has the bloody version so there you go and they put a lot of detail even the edge work that goes all the way through here is on there so um yeah NECA, much applause much applause let's hope that the figure don't fall apart and if it doesn't yeah NECA, you guys are knocking it out the park because that last one that i reviewed of chucky of holiday edition chucky if you guys missed it please look in my library it is the video before this one and um the last video i did and it is a hit. People are loving it. That figure is dynamite. Hopefully this one will do the same. Let's give our beautiful girl here, Megan, a turn. Uh, pardon me, folks. I, I just got off of work. So it's been a long day. 12-hour shift. Um, yeah, that's why I haven't been posting as much. Because I've just been working my butt off, folks. But, you know, you got to pay the bills. And you got to pay the money to be able to... Uh, have some of these collectibles uh, they're not like sending them to me I wish they were but um, I'm not in that position to where they're sending them to me because you know trying to grow the channel hopefully someday but anyway her head goes side to side you it's on a post so obviously if you really wanted to turn it around you're gonna turn it around right um, so she hits there you go it came off so there you go right there there you can see it right there all right folks so our doll face, uh, yeah, her head just, it pops right back on, but she does hit that Michael Myers. Super cool. Um, this figure looks amazing. Feels good. Everything's right. Uh, her arms do not hit 90. That's about where you're going to get them there. Um, does she have any swivel amongst the sleeve here? No, she doesn't. She doesn't have a butterfly cup joint in there either, uh, but she does have swivel um, right there. At the uh, elbow, at the elbow, top of the elbow, bottom of the tricep right there. Also, she has a single hinge to make her arm do that. So there you go. That's going to be a very, very, very uh, good pose that you're going to want. The way that they made this figure, they made it for collectors. Flat out, folks. Um, 
yeah everything is just right about this her hands do go up and down same as the other hand and yes you can spin them around because they are on a post hinge okay so right here below her attire I'm kind of holding her up due to the fact sorry folks that yeah I got the fan blowing in here and you can if she's very very light so uh, to get her to I do not want her to fall over so right below this area right here I'm sure she probably has some work done in there but we are not going to get that right now so she does have swivel at the waist I'm going to leave it like that and it seems that, that head keeps oh there it goes and it seems like she does have uh, some action going on right there amongst the inside of this so I don't know if you could really see that amongst the hardware that's in there but it looks like she does have the ab crunch okay so this head might be drilled out a little too big because it keeps popping off so her her legs the hips don't lie like i said part of my fingers okay you can get her there but her dress is not going to allow you to go any further uh, like i said it is a soft molded plastic so the detail work in this is crucial so you need detail work like this to display a figure like this. This figure's just nice, folks. Uh, so I'll go for the dis I'll go for the appearance, uh, mostly overall, all the articulation. So single joint in the knee, and yes, she. It looks like she does have swivel amongst the knee. So on a single joint, other leg is the exact same way. But she's tough. So it's a brand new mold. So there you go. But you can move her around to get her to pose to get those real unique Megan type poses. And then her feet, folks, her feet are on a single hinge down. Uh, and does she have tilt rocker? Yes, she does have tilt rocker, believe it or not. So there you go. And the bottom of the feet do have peg holes. For that way, you can install her on your NECA stands. All right, so let's give her, her another quick turn. They did a fantastic job. Folks, what do you guys think? Are you guys going to pick this figure up? Um, I absolutely could not wait to get it. So when I got it, I was super stoked when I seen it when I went to my Target on the way home from work. Well, to a Target. And they had it, so I was stoked. Okay, all the detail work in the shoes, everything's just right on this figure. Looks really, really good, folks. So, there you go. Let me see if I can get a little bit of a close-up of her so you can see that. Oh, let me back up a little bit. There you go. Look at the shoes. Very nice. Yeah, what do you guys think? NECA really just went all out with this one, didn't they? All right, folks, so I gave her an alternate head right there. Uh, her more, uh, the, this would be the head that she would have her first appearance with, would be pretty much this one. Uh, but you can, you can go back and forth with this one, uh, the one that she had on, versus this one. This one tends to have a whole lot more detail uh, stacked inside of it. So that's what I'm guessing with this one. This one looks amazing. That head... If you're going to display this beauty, that would be the head that you would definitely want uh, for sure. But there you can see how she looks right there with her alternate head and hammer in hand. So I gave her a hammer inside. Uh, yeah, this figure looks beautiful. All right, so here she is. I moved, I pushed her head a little bit more down to lock it more in place because that one popped off too, but um, I locked this one more in place. So hopefully this one don't come off either. But there she is. Um, pardon me, folks. Let me get that. So that way you can see her with her, um, what is that, the paper cutter? Yeah, so you can see how she looks with the paper cutter. Uh, this figure just knocks it out the park. Um, yeah, what more can I say? She displays well. And also, you're looking in the background, folks. So if you're wondering what's going on in the background, this is the display that it actually brung and it was the same one that was in that photo so that way you can see that one and it does bring it and it is a hard uh cardboard so yeah it will hold together folks so NECA is really throwing a lot at you with this figure and right now it's looking like a bit of a bargain 
All right, folks, so here is Megan with her robotic looking head that's starting to come, starting to just deteriorate due from her just battling back and forth, people putting up a fight. Um, this is more of how she's going to look towards the three quarters of the movie. Um, yeah, she really looks a little messed up right here. Starting to look like a girl version of a Chucky, like when he's all beat up with the staples and everything. Um, this one, yeah, this this head sculpt is amazing. And there she is with her bloody um, the paper cutter uh, machete kind of weapon. There you go. Look at that. Looks beautiful. Are you guys going to pick this one up? Let me know in the comments. Uh, how'd you like the movie? Uh, are you looking forward to getting a part two? Leave it in the comments. All right, folks. So here she is with nail gun in hand um, with the deranged looking head. Uh, this figure just knocks it out the park to me. Um, that's all I that's all I could say. Uh, I am so glad I purchased this. Uh, please do so. Go out, get yourself a Megan, um, because this figure, these figures, NECA has been putting out with that last Chucky two, that bloody variant um, holiday Chucky, was just insane. Was just so much bargain for the buck, you know. And this one is the same. Uh, I'm feeling like they knocked it out the park with this one as well. Um, yeah, two good reviews back to back. I'm so happy to have these figures. So here she is with screwdriver in hand, and you, now you know why I bring so many right hands. And I'm guessing that the more darker hand is because of the wear and tear of like blood being wiped off or whatever it is. I'm not sure if this is the one, but um, yeah, one of these hands is quite darker than the other. So that's what I'm thinking is the problem with that one. But uh, yeah, there she is with that robotic looking head. You could see how that looks. Uh, it's very, very detailed. The figure just brings it all. Um, hopefully, uh, my camera work can do some justice to this. Uh, for that way, you guys can really see what this thing looked like. Uh, yeah, I am very pleased with this. So I changed out her head, and I put the bloody uh, paper cutter in her hand. Uh, While well, her faceplate that they bring, um, because she will bring, um, she brings two of them. So, let's see here. There's the other one the one you just saw so she does bring two of them they do clip right on to the head that it brings to do it with uh yeah knocked it out the park folks so there really is one head that i particularly really like her pose with and this would be the one that she'd be going into display with um yeah i like this pose i like giving her the bloody uh cutter uh everything this 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 head sculpt is amazing, folks. This figure is amazing. I can't wait to get the other all cloth version, eight inch version. They're calling it. Uh, that one's going to be available at Best Buy, but this one is at Targets now, uh, hitting all Target stores. Get on out to your Target stores. You got other online retailers uh, like Big Bad Toy Store, uh, Entertainment Earth, a few others out there that might be carrying this or have it up for a pre-order. Please, if you cannot get it. Give them a shot also. Big Bad Toy Store also has a $4 shipping um, that would probably save you money on shipping. So, And they're very good on price there. Um, so anyway, this one was available at Target. Retail for $34.99 for ages 17 and up. And that's it from here from Moe's Tour. So hopefully you enjoyed this review. Please thumbs up the video. It does help us get um, more algorithm. It puts uh, lets YouTube know that most toy room is being watched and liked and and we could bring you more and more like this but more importantly make sure that you're subscribed and please folks uh thank you so much for tuning in to most toy room uh for this beautiful rendition of megan the ultimate action figure available now from NECA and real toys so from most room to yours good night everyone